Hey, but it's Sandback once again, and yes, look at this. What is it? It's a Samsung Galaxy S2. Yes, the original one where I started making videos. And it's time to look at Android 4.3 running on over two year old hardware. And this is Synergy Mod 10.2. So, yeah, let's roll the intro. So yeah, here it is, Android 4.3, Signage Mod 10.2, running on my Galaxy S2. I've had a lot of requests for people saying, Sam, do you want to go back to doing some of the old type videos? You know, the ones that kind of I've did on a regular basis. So I figured, let's start off and kick it off with the Galaxy S2. So as you can see here, when you are on your lock screen, you actually get your browser, your telephone, your music, your text message, and unlock. So if you want to go straight to the text messages, just drop it there, and then boom, it goes straight into that for you. Now, one thing I will say, this is a nightly, so it's not a super stable build, but from what I've been using, it's been pretty stable. I've had maybe one or two crashes when I've gone to the camera applications, but apart from that, everything else has been pretty sweet. I'm also going to give you a quick quadrant and a quick Antutu benchmark in this video as well, just to kind of see how it does it. Let's be honest, we want to see, even if it means nothing. <laughs> right, so... As you can see, when you do pull down from the top, from this side, you get your normal one, and boom, you get your different toggle options. Go straight into the settings, you're gonna scroll straight down to the bottom, just to show you that, yes, it is a proper Galaxy S2, running Android 4.3, kernel version, running the processor, and the Sideshow Mod version I am running is why I am there. There are, I think there are a couple of new versions out since I got this one on there, but I wanted to give it a proper test instead of updating every single night. And again, I've been pretty happy with it, apart from maybe one or two crashes here or there. You get super user built straight into it, so don't worry if it to you rooted, etc. The main aspect, and the way you're gonna look at this is, this is a Galaxy S2 running a stock Android build, effectively but with a couple of extra little tweaks. I'm not going to go through every single aspect of it. I'll be here for days. But you get, these are the personalization options you get with Sage and Mod. Home screen, lock screen, themes, and interface. Now, just to give you a quick look, you can kind of change stuff. Like within the home screen, you can change the grid size, etc., etc. again. I mean, if you want to see everything, you can pause your screen or go really slow through these parts here. Again, I, I will be here forever if I go through every aspect of it for you and talk about every aspect. But they're just the kind of the main aspects for you and general. So you also get your lock screen. As you saw on the lock screen, you've got those five different options. You can change those and put them whatever you want. Uh, you also do get the lock screen widgets. So I'll give you a quick look. So an Android 4.3. Yep, yeah, you get them. And also that way, bring up your camera application and you get an option for it. So let's just go home, pull it back down. Go back into the settings. You get your themes, so you can change all the different colouring on here. An interface, this is one I like. You can change the options of the status bar. So give you a quick look. As you can see there, that looks like that now. If I decide I want to add the clock, um, and let's say I want to change the to hidden, and then we'll do the battery style to the icon. As you can see, it's give it a completely different look within a couple of clicks. No rebooting, no nothing. It's all done on the fly, which I absolutely love. Everything else is pretty much standard. There's no real other kind of things underneath the hood, so to speak, there. And again, the main aspect of this is running stock Android with those little extras from Signage and Mod to give it that extra little bit of extra performance, the extra little customization, etc. And as you can see, it is kind of scrolling through some of the screens. It seems like there's a little bit of stutter now and again. Um, and I'm not too sure why that is. Um, everything else seems to be pretty smooth in terms of like going to the app, you know, into like the draw. Everything else seems pretty decent. Uh, but for some reason on the main screen, it may be the launch that, you know, that comes with Sage and Mod. Maybe a little laggy, so maybe stick Nova or something like that on there. I normally do to have theme packs anywhere. Anyway, let's go into the quadrant and we're going to do a quick quadrant benchmark for you. So let's do this quick one for us. Now, while that's going through that little kind of um, benchmark for us, quick question for you. Is there anything you want me to do on the channel that I'm not doing? Now, again, a lot of people ask me to go back to the roots, do more of these kind of videos, more routing kind of videos, you know, custom ROM videos, as well as the stuff I've been doing, but do some other stuff like I used to do in the past, which I'm going to hopefully start getting into. This is the first of many. I know I've not done many videos in the last month or two, but again, I'm going to make an update video for that as to why. But while, while I've kind of got your attention while this is uh, doing its thing, is there anything you want to see on the channel that I'm not currently doing having on there? More gaming? No gaming at all? Um, you, let me know in the comments down below. 
because again, your feedback is vital and it really does help me kind of mold my channel to what you want as well as what I want to do. Because let's be honest, without you guys, there's not much point in me doing it. Otherwise, I'd just be talking to myself, which is not really good. Anyway, so I'm shut up and let's kind of see what this one gets. I'm just going to skip to the end of it and we'll uh, be back in two secs. So here it is. Yes, we've got the benchmark results in. And we get... What's the score? What's the score? What's the score? Ooh, 3,440, which I know up to today's standards, when we're looking at like 12 or 12,000 for like the Galaxy S4, HTC One, etc., doesn't seem that impressive. But you got to remember, this hardware is over two and a half years old now. I don't think that's too bad in the kind of benchmarking tests, you know, designed for 2013 phones. So, as I said, we're also going to run 2.2 because these are the two kind of like the biggest ones people want to see. I know there are more retro ones out there such as Geekbench, but these are the ones I'm doing today. So I'm just going to do the uh, test on this one. So, again, we're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to come back. I'm just going to speed this part of the video up. Hopefully I can find some funky music for you and we'll uh, be back once it's finished. Well, hey, and we finished. So, the scores on the doors are 10,159, which, to be fair, isn't that bad, again, for a device that's over two and a half years old. When you consider up to some of the devices today, we're talking, like, maybe get double that. But for two-year-old hardware, again, I don't think it's too bad. Again, it's not being overclocked. It's not running any kind of, like, special kernel. It's running the stock Synergy mod kernel. I think you see the quickest device out there is running that bad boy there. I don't know what that is. What device is that? If you know what that device is there, let me know in the comment down below. So, yeah. What do you reckon? Again, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's too bad. I'm getting 10,159, which I don't think is that bad at all. There we go. I've got a user comment. I hope this phone will become more smooth. As the Galaxy 3 RAM uses the scope to improve. Don't know who that is, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the final aspect is I'm going to do today is just going to show you the camera. Now, Focal, the side mod camera, doesn't really work for me on this phone. It keeps crashing. So I'm going to update it to a newer build and hopefully it will work. Um, and I will do its own separate video based upon Focal. But anyway, we're going to look at the camera itself. Now, I've had a couple of crashes when I've had the camera. And hey, hello. So it's going to take a picture of me. As you can see, just kind of a... I forgot there's actually focus on here. Let's take a quick picture, and boom, swipe across, and there I am. There, maybe not. And then to get to the main camera, it's pretty much the well, it is pretty much it is the <laughs> the stock camera experience. So let's bring in the HTC One. We'll uh, see if we can take a picture of that Beats Audio logo. So let's see if we can get it to focus. So you tap to focus. It's like not nah, too too close. Tap to focus again. It says it's okay. Take the picture. You can see it's not exactly the fastest picture taker in the world. And there we have it. It's actually not a bad picture, to be fair. So, yeah. The camera experience on here is pretty much what you'd expect. Um, I have actually done a video. And as you can see here, the Galaxy S2 has not lost any of its vibrance in terms of the screen. <laughs> it is still very popping. And I'm going to put this video up on my channel as well. If you want to click here, you can actually see this video. And this is running 1080p, running Synergy Mod 10.2, Android 4.3, just to see if, if a two and a half year old phone can perform better than some of the current cameras out there for video tests. We'll soon see. I've put again, it's the raw footage. I'm going to upload that um, at the same time as this video. All in all, I can definitely recommend 10.2, uh, Synergy Mod 10.2, Android 4.3 for the Galaxy S2. The reason for that. It's for the fact it's nice and quick, it's nice and fast, and it gives you all those new updates, you know, in regards to the notifications, you can get your pull down, etc. If you like stock Android, you want to give it a try, I will put a link in the description, you can go download this bad boy. But what do you reckon? Is something you'd be looking to put on your Galaxy S2? Have you already got your Galaxy S2? And more importantly, are you bothered? I think that's the main aspect. Do you care about this kind of thing for your phone, or are you not too fussed at all? As always, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't mind, please do hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. And yes, it really does help. And it tells me you want more Galaxy S2 or maybe Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S4 kind of ROM related stuff. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you do want going forward. Anyway, people, I appreciate you watching. And you'll all see me 
in my next video. Cheers, everyone.